Hello everyone, you're here with Claro Beauty and Life. Um, we're here to talk some makeup. Thank you very much for being here. If you like what you see, please subscribe and please comment. Um, I wish this was live and we can be interacting with each other, but since we can't, um, if you comment, make suggestions, I'm new at YouTube, I'm learning, and I just wanna share um, my joy for makeup and what we call I'm a collector <laughs> enthusiast um, so today we're gonna continue because I just made two videos about Westman Atelier uh, and in the first video I show how to apply the foundation the contour the bronzer the blush and the highlights so if you want to see how I did that I'll post the video below in the second video, we try one of her eyeshadow sets, which we try the most natural, which is called Les Jours Eye Pots. Les Jours. Uh, this is what she came up at the beginning to do for daytime. Of course, you can use it anytime, but it's kind of day. And then she came up with this second set, which is called Les Nuits iPods, Les Pod de Vux, but it's, I guess the set is called Les Nuits, Nuits. Uh, I think it's French and it's supposed to be for night. So what I explain a little bit, it comes three, usually comes with a pouch, um, which I don't keep, I throw them. It comes in a box like this. This is her newest collection she came. I haven't tried them yet. So I will be doing a video on this new color she just came out. But the originals were this too, the day and the night, which I will be trying the night right now. So it comes in this box and then inside of this pocket came this little pouch, nice, where the three eyeshadows fit but I really never use it. So, and then of course they came like this. And then that's how we become this. And this is how I keep them in my door. And so, uh, in the other video we try about the date and I had them on, but today I wanna try the night. Now, I wouldn't say these are like super duper, night, you know, pigmented, heavy makeup. That is one of the things that Westman Atelier likes, that they look the most natural, kind of just a little something, something that you look better, but that you don't look like fully made out of makeup. Even though she does, she's a makeup artist and she has done many of the famous, uh, rich and famous, and, um, so I'm sure she can do all kind of looks, and she does. Um, but in her line, and I'm sure she can do many different looks with her line, but uh, I think she likes more the natural, the good quality, um, you know, for the skin. And I would have to agree with her. Um, when you apply her makeup, it doesn't bother you. You don't feel like you wanna take it off at the end of the day, which is a plus. And you really forget that you have it on um, so she pride herself from the quality of the products. I'm not very familiar with all the, you know, the ingredients of makeup and what makes it super good or super bad. So I can't speak about that, but I do like her line quite a bit. I own most of her stuff. So that say something. Um, so today we're going to talk about this trio this set. I'm sure you can mix and match with the day and the night. I'm sorry, my eyes is twitching. I think it's the light. La la la. I'm not uh, used to the light for filming yet. It's just a ring light, but still, it's quite a lot. Um, so this trio has three colors. One is Vin Rouge, which is kind of a wine, dark, burgundy, dark brown, but it's more burgundy kind. 
Then there's the champagne, which is the light color that you always need. And then there's a noir, which is the brown, the black. But I wouldn't say this is a fully, like very black. You see, it kind of has this transparency to it, which I appreciate. So it's not just like a and this is the brand, dark brown burgundy. And then the, the champagne. I'm sorry about the boo-boo. That is with one of my dogs. So this is champagne. It's just, it does have some sparkle and lighting up qualities but um, there's not a lot of color. Now I wonder how that compares to the Daylightest, which is, of course, the last one I opened. <laughs> this one came on the Day Trio. So how does this compare to the, okay. So just like it says, this is more champagne a little more pinkish, and this is more cooler, whiter, pearlier. Okay, good to know, good to know. So, what are we gonna do today? You know, I'm gonna do something that I never do, so I'm gonna try with you for the very first time. Oh, what did I do? Oh, because usually I will line up with the black, just here on the bottom, and then the burgundy here. But I feel like doing a full eyelid with the black or with the burgundy. Ooh, see, I haven't done those. What should we try? All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the burgundy first all over the lid. Let's see how that looks. And then I'll put the black all over the lid on the other one. So I'm using Vin Rouge. So we're gonna put it all over the lid. I never do this really because I like, I, I mentioned in another video, I like the center of my lid to be light. Now I usually go up here, but I'm not doing that. Ooh. Something new. Okay, so burgundy or wine. Wine, more wine. I'm gonna do this. Oh my God, I love this. Especially with this shirt that for some reason called my attention to put on. Bright, I don't know what you call it. It's not pink, it's magenta, purple. Um, What do you call it? What color is this? So, you see that? Oh, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Really, really lovely. So if I would just do this and then line with black, if you notice, I put three coats already. So the good thing about this product is you can build it up. And what I did now, I was being very careful to just stay in the lid, but now at the end up here, I'm starting to bring some color upwards, always in a vertical line, never like this, um, to see if that will lift up. Oh yeah, look at the difference. I mean, is it just me? No, I do see a difference. You start bringing the color up here, it makes the illusion of the eye being a little bigger. So, so that's the burgundy. I already have some mascara because I thought that would help. All right. And besides this great mascara, I always talking about it, the Tribe Cosmetic, you put it on and you don't have to worry that much. It doesn't come off. It doesn't, uh, it's very light in your eyes. I love it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the black on the other eyelid and see, you know, like if you wanted to do a, 
a very, what do you call it? Why is the word escaping me? I know it well. What is the word when you put the dark on your lid? Golly. Don't you hate that? A word that you always know about and then when you want to use it, when you're in front of people, that's when it escapes you. Well, you obviously can tell the difference, right? I mean, this is black and this is burgundy. Now, Hmm. You know, a liquid liner brown or burgundy and now is in style. I think Chanel came out with some. I bought some, but not that one. And I do have their um, burgundy pencil. Charlotte Tilbury also has one, but I don't want to mix it right now that we're trying Westman Atelier. But that could be a whole look, especially now in the fall. Um, this one is a little more winter and I wouldn't use such a lot of color in my lips. So this is a good idea to take this off and try her natural. See, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, she came up with this, which is less nude. This is her lip suede, hold the decories. This is, she's coming up with this. These are beautiful, little hard to open, as you can tell. Oof. All right, so, but she gives you four colors in one. It's a little bit in the expensive. I think this one's our $85. Uh, but if you think about it, you're getting four lipsticks, four colors, and you really can mix and match. Um, oops, this moved by my thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, and this is her natural. Usually I don't use this light of colors, but given that it was her and that I really like this line, I ended up ordering it. And I'm glad I did because you'll see what I mean. You can use this to light up any lipstick. And at the end, this brown color I really love for every day. And then you can light it up a little bit with this or with this pink. But especially now that we're going to be trying this darker lid, a lighter lipstick is good because this was her first. And these are all very bright colors. I mean, this brown purple becomes very neutral, natural. But um, no, but I like this to go with the look that we're uh, creating because these are a little cooler colors all right so going back I needed to take that pink off of my lips that's why I interrupted our playing with eyeshadows so what should I do now because the way I'm feeling right now this burgundy is just calling me but you always love to go with black, right? So why don't we do this? I'm gonna put a little bit, this is one of her brushes, Westman Atelier. She has five brushes and only two for eyes. I only bought one of them. This is eyeshadow two because of how the brush goes. If you see short and long bristles. Uh, the other, the number one is a more usual, this is not it, but um, you know, a more usual kind of brush like this to apply the product. So because I have many like that, I didn't buy it. Uh, but now, since I did buy this, what I want to try is to put a little bit of the black. It's a little scary because a little bit of the black. I'm going to put it just a little bit here just to deepen up. the outer corner and see what this does. I'm hoping it doesn't become muddy. But it doesn't. This is great. I like this, guys. So since I already put black all over, which I could really make this work, uh, putting a little more black and then putting a, a liquid eyeliner 
to line up and really uh, make that um, a strong color. Um, but I'm liking this side better for today. So I'm just deepening up the outer corner with the black. I'm also gonna light it up the bottom with the burgundy. And now I am going a little bit further than I usually go. Okay. And so I'm gonna need to put burgundy on the other side on top of the black, and then we'll see what happens. Because if I wanna make them similar, Ooh, how about that? Ooh, I like it. I like it even better. All right, so we're taking the burgundy and now we're putting it on the crease, outer, and then I'm putting it all over the lid. And the lid already had the black. So I like that. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of the black on the other just to make it more similar and then go back to the burgundy and put it on top. Now I hope I'm not confusing you because I'm putting one and then the other and then the other, but this is how I do makeup, right? You look and you see and then you correct or you put one color or the other. Now, these eye pods are for night, remember? So I'm not surprised that I'm looking a little more made up. And especially when you start uh, using colors like black. I mean, if it's not just to line up or just to deepen it up a corner, which I could have done, but we wanted to play. So I put it all over the lid. And now I'm really looking like an adult. <laughs> you know, all made up. As if for some weird reason, when I feel all natural, it's youthful and I don't feel like an older woman, but when you start making up like this, right? So I do want to clean it up a little bit. So this is a lovely thing about the foundation, the atelier. I'm gonna, uh, this is an attach of the Nona number 13. Uh, I don't have her brush. She has a brush that she uses for foundation, but it's very similar, you know, like it's just a flat. And what I'm gonna do here is clean up because given that I have hooded eyes, I have to always be very careful for any color that passes this line, vertical line that I'm creating. You see that? Yeah. And so the good thing about this foundation, look how simple, it's almost like concealer, right? You can just put it up and clean it up. I'm gonna clean up some of the mascara, which is a minimum. I apologize, I should have taken mascara off to do all this, but I thought it would be even helpful to see how the eyeshadow was going with the mascara on. Ooh, I like it, what do you think? And even putting the foundation and pull it up created that darker line being pulled up which I enjoy. And so what I would do is um, just, where is that brush I was using, which was very, very useful. Um, this is the Sonia G flat definer. And so this one is precise. So I'm putting some of the black to make sure the lining Remember that we pull the black all over the lid anyways. But with this, and I line up 
upwards on my crease, just a line to make the hollow look a little bit, oh, this is beautiful. So I wanna note um, how user-friendly Westman Atelier um, products are. Now, because I did the makeup for the daytime, you know, the blush and the foundation and everything else, like I told you, um, I put my blush a little bit forward that when I have darker eyes, I don't like the blush so here, I like it more back. So what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of my favorite dual brush for foundation. This is um, IT Cosmetics, and this one is called um, All Over. It's number seven. I, uh, If you saw there are my videos, I swear by this brush, I also, I actually use, have two, and I do use them every day. So what I do when I wanna just bring down a little bit is I will use the Atelier One, which is the closest to my skin, the foundation, any foundation really. Uh, and then I will just put it in frame. You see? And this one too. So what I'm doing is taking some of this blush a little backwards. You know, I want it here. So this will bring more light to the front of my face. Do you notice that? And then if I do want to add a little bit of the blush back, uh, I'm going to use petal. Then I put it here and just refresh it. See that? I might bring it up a little bit here just so it balances out a little bit. It's very little what is left on the brush. So no big deal. I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit because I usually use this for foundation only and I just apply some color to it. But there you have it. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit, just a tiny bit of my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this Chanel 30. Uh, as far as I know, Westman Atelier doesn't have something for you eyebrows yet. I'm sure she'll come up with it at some point. She does have a mascara, which I haven't tried. I have read mixed reviews and it's really an expensive mascara. And uh, since I like what I got already and I have many, I didn't buy it. So there you have it. Now we're gonna add a little bit of the lips like I mentioned. So here it is. Let's, I'm gonna swatch. So the, the first one here. The second one here. The third one here. That one is very, very light. You can barely see it. And then the fourth one, which is the reddest, the one on top, which I really like. So this is one, two, three, four. Let me put the first one in here next to this so you see the difference. Yeah, so the first one here is a little more pink and this one is more brown, you can see. All right, so we're gonna apply some of, so the first I'm gonna apply is the bottom one. I really like this color, very little, very light. You can use some lip liner if you wish. Then I apply a little bit of the pink in the middle. I'm 
I'm gonna apply a little bit of the dark as you see. You start mixing and making your own kind of lipstick. Yep, I like this look. I like this look a lot. And the more time it goes on, is looking more and more, I mean, natural within the makeup, you know, that you're done. So I would go to a party, you know, like a dinner party at a friend's house or something that is a little bit nighttime. I, I guess that's what she means by, you know, during the day you're more natural, a little bit of color, a little more of the, of the tan or brown, but at night, you don't have to be all made up, even though we put <laughs> almost all the steps of makeup. But this looks like I have eyeshadow on, but very uh, light and nice. So I like it. And if I was going to a restaurant dinner, I could, if I wanted, then put the red lips, right? And then bring it up a little bit, put a little more blush, and, uh, and the eyes don't look overdone. I mean, when we started and put in black, Look at now. This could be an office makeup as well when you want to look a little more made up. I uh, like a little more natural look during the day, even if it's work. I might put a little bolder lip, perhaps. Um, but for night, I agree with her. This is, I would go like this to a restaurant dinner, dinner party. Uh, get together with friends, things like that. Lovely. Westman Atelier, you done well. <laughs> All right. So I think we're done for today. Um, perhaps I will do another lipstick, uh, another video, another time about the red lips. Uh, maybe I should do just one for it because the swatches and everything else. And so... Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment. And it was very nice being with you here today. And uh, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye.